Look, more eBay heads. <laughs>、right, so as you see, there's more than just one set of heads. There is two sets of heads. And if you pay attention to my community tab, I posted a picture of these heads on there. <laughs> And you may have thought from this right here that these are LS heads, but they are not. I made the same mistake when I got them. I was like, oh, that better not be an LS head. But you flip it over, you can see right here, it is a 357, not an LS. Anyways. The reason I bought all these new heads is because if you haven't noticed, the prices of a lot of things are going up. And I figure I like the heads and I may want to use more in the future. And if I want to get them at the price, you know, a good, you know, good price, now is the time. So that's why I bought them. Now I need to inspect them. I should have already inspected them, but as always, I'm a last minute Larry. Down to the last minute, I got. Two days left, need to get it done. <laughs> so let's get to work. Oh, and I'm not going to go into all the details in the past. We're just going to try and go through these real quick. And you'll see if I find any problems. All right, so the first head up is the Poser LS head. And I was going to make this clip after it all checked out, but I noticed something that I want to document before it gets covered in Sharpie. Look at these seats. Now, I am no machinist, and I'm not sure you know, if this is going to show up super great on camera, but they look really copperish to me. I don't really think they, they're going to put you know, you know, expensive seats in these cheap heads, so I'm not sure what that means. Here's a 2.0 head. For you know, comparison. Nice and shiny, steel looking. Copperish. And here's an OG head. Just a hint of tint to them. Not, well, here, slide this head just a little bit. Move this plate. There goes my Sharpie. Trying to do a side by side. Those seats are definitely not that bright as these. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But I'm going to continue on checking and I'll post some pictures online and see what people say. Well, things are not off to a good start. So far, deja vu. I went ahead and checked everything on the head and it mostly checked out good. But then I was finishing up checking the seats and. Same problem as I had with the OG heads. The exhaust seats are not checking out good. They're not cut deep enough. This one, it barely touched the top of the valve. This one's a little better, but still too high in the valve compared to the intake, which is, you know, right where it should be. So,、uh, at this point, I know I got to at least contact the manufacturer about one head. And I get through these other heads, so. You know, and get it all done in one, one shot. A few other notes on this head before we move on to the next head. You can see the casting flash is probably a little worse than previous heads. It's, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I, I clean the heads up anyway, but you know, possibly a little more work. Over here on the deck, it looks like it's, it's flawed. I mean, it's just, it's like, I don't know, it's like a cosmetic blem. Because you know, when you get the right angle, there's nothing there, and you can't feel nothing. It checks flat, you put the flash right there. You know, it's, it's good. Over here, though, we got a bit of a dent where the head was like dropped or smashed. And that's, that's no big deal. I mean, you can just file that right down and fix that. Oh, and、um, the coolant port. Is a, little, is a little shallow, so we're going to tap down that a little bit. 
be, you know, quick fix, not a big deal. I did notice that these heads have a, a 9060 casted on the end of them, or, yeah, it's a cast, looks more like, might be a stamp. Whereas the other heads, you know, all the other previous versions, I didn't notice that, that, um, that mark. And I didn't, there was normally some kind of casting right here along the lip that's not on these heads. Well, this head so far, but I don't know about those ones. Anyways, so far, not looking so good. Move on to the next head. Second head, more of the same. The exhaust seats. You can see right here, only on top of the valve a little bit. I only checked the first two seats. I didn't even bother checking the intake seats or anything else on that. On to the third. Third head, again, exhaust seats. Any guesses on the fourth? <laughs> uh, here we go. Hey, how's it going? Check out these eBay heads. Fourth head. Well, this sucks. <laughs> this is, it's always freaking something. Anyways, now I gotta message the, the merchant. More than likely, I'm gonna return that. Because, FYI, my local machine shop closed. So, the last thing I need is a pile of heads I can't get fixed, or I gotta drive really far to another shop. I mean, <laughs> I bought from this merchant before and they were fine. <sighs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna mash them, I'm gonna sleep on it. <laughs> I'll pick this up tomorrow. Can't sleep, so I figured I would see how a 1-5 valve checks. Yeah, I know, I need a haircut. It'll be warm enough soon to cut it all off. In case you didn't see my pro form video, these are uh, engine pro valves, 1.5. Just sharpened it up, so let me stick it in there and we'll check. Nope, not a 1.5, it's right there. It's only touching on the bottom barely, whereas the 1.6 it's just barely touching on the top. So, from one end of the spectrum to the other, back to bed. Well, it's been settled. All four cylinder heads are going to be sent back. It took me a little while to get it figured out because the merchant was a little slow in the response. They did offer me some compensation for the you know, defective seats, but only a hundred bucks. I mean, that might be enough to get one pair, I mean, two heads fixed, but not all four. And I don't really want to deal with it anyway. My, my local machine shop that I wanted to take them to closed. So, I mean, it's going to cost me more because, you know, of course, gas is high right now. And I just don't want to deal with it. When I can buy other heads from some other merchant that should be, you know, good from the start. Anyways, I also want to point out, I asked and someone told me that these seats, you know, the color on them is copper infused powder metal. So, you know, they're not anything feel you know, fancy. But supposedly they're, you know, they're a good seat. I mean, I'm not a machinist, you know, I'm just a DIY guy, so I'm figuring this stuff out too. <clears throat> now, I did order another set of heads, but they're not generic eBay heads, and they're not even off eBay. I'm not sure when they're going to get here. <clears throat> I mean, I got other videos to make, I know I need to get moving on the eBay heads but I was like I got the money I want to spend it now so when they get here I'll, I'll have to go ahead and check them out you know within you know reasonable time to get them sent back which I don't know when that'll be so you know stay tuned for that I also ordered something that might be kind of a, a solution to the problem with the eBay heads you know so before I box them up you know and you know, ship them back I may check that out if it gets here in time we'll see anyways it's time to wrap this up before i go i just want to say you know check out my community tab i've been putting some polls on some certain things 
I may put a poll on something else here in a minute. And, you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep it real.